Egypt's presidential spokesman, Mustafa Egazi, spoke to the media about the latest spate of violence in the country on Saturday. He described the sit-ins and protests by Morsi supporters during the last month as not being peaceful and as having terrorized Egyptians. Egazi added that the police force dealt with the Muslim Brotherhood within the law and that the interim government will continue on its political roadmap. I would like to share some facts with you here. The first fact that Egyptians are today more united than they were ever before. We're not only united towards a common dream, but we're united against a common enemy. We're united towards a dream of a civil, democratic, free state. And we're united against the acts of terror, the instigation of violence, and the powers of evil that are trying to cripple our move towards the future. As I mentioned, what we've been witnessing in the streets is not in any ways and cannot be accepted to be defined as a manifestation of a political difference or a manifestation of political dispute. And we should be very wary about this. We should be very clear about it. And I think you all have to be clear about differentiating between what we can label as political difference and political disputes and the tools used in political difference and political dispute and the pattern of violence, instigating violence, burning cities, whole cities, literally. What happened in Minya, what happened in Baniswaif, what happened in Kerdasa, what happened in Ramses yesterday, you cannot say that as a symbol or a gesture of political difference. Those are acts of real terror. This is a founding stage, a founding phase in our lives, not only a transitional phase. We will establish our nation, the aspired nation, on truth and justice and nothing else. I thank you.